Single woman says she's never had a man because men only treat thin women Good. with respect. Only see value in thin women. Sort of like she's saying a thin waistline means a good time. Trust me when I say this. I know where the girls are coming from when they say to decenter men and that men f corpses Damn. and Damn. that you shouldn't put any value into what men think of you or how they treat you because uh, they're dogmish most of the time. Wow. Okay, I get that and I understand it. The problem I have is as a straight heterosexual woman who's attracted to straight heterosexual men and would like to experience a romantic heterosexual relationship with okay. a man but mm -hmm. has never had the opportunity to do so. Why? It makes it hard to really accomplish that. And on top of that, I am force fed content on and offline on a daily basis seeing women who are truly valued and treated well by the men in their lives i want what they have so badly what because they're not big girls so men treat women better because they're not big girls because i like them big i like them greasy god damn to a degree yeah yes to a degree yeah now does it mean thinner more in shape slimmer women whatever you want to say does it mean that they get the better treatment? That they get nothing but good treatment? No. Nope. No, it doesn't. Just because a woman looks good, it doesn't mean she's great. A lot of good looking women are awful. Bruh. They're absolutely awful people. However, because she looks good, admittedly, she can get away with a lot. Yeah, it takes a minute to look this good. She can get away with a lot, admittedly, to a lot of men. To most men, probably. Because yes, as men, we are visual. Walking around with a good looking woman makes you feel better as a man. You feel great. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm the man. Look at me. I'm the man. Look at my woman. You're so jealous, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, you wish. I oh, wish you had this. Yeah. Yeah. For a lot of men, having a good looking woman makes them very arrogant, egotistical. You underestimate my power. But is it right for women? No, it's not right for women. No, of course not. It does mean women that are a bit bigger. Like big. It does mean that women that are a bit bigger, not all of them, because a lot of men do like big girls. Come on. Mm. It's not all of them. But it does mean that women are bigger. Bigger. They're more difficult to consume. As a man, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't need to say that, but you get my point. Yeah, there's too much woman here. You got a bit too much. There's too much to you. She's always hungry. Do you come in a smaller package? As some men would say. Suck it. And that makes me physically ill some okay. of the time. Like having content shoved down my throat hmm. of how some women are treated by the men in their lives and how valued they actually are, and knowing that no man in my life has ever actually liked me like Damn. at all and wow. has never valued me Damn. literally at all nobody loves me is it true as men that we don't notice we ignore we don't treat big girls well fluffy girls they're not sexy too and we make them feel less of women because you know she's a big girl <laughs> how true is it it's true comment comment what do you think of a big girl <laughs> Now, going back to what I said about being seen with certain women, I made a video a while back where the woman in the video said, a lot of people are judged by their partners. So not even being rude to this woman, lovely woman, not being rude to her. If a lot of people are judged by their partners, for some men being seen with a big girl, it's like, yo, what's going on, bro? You couldn't find a more in-shape woman. Oh, God. That's fucking ridiculous. What are you a feeder? You like to feed women to keep them big? I want you bigger. I want you fatter. <laughs> So they don't leave you. What's going on, bro? You're not a broke dude. You have money. Sparkle, sparkle. You're not bad looking. Why are you settling? That was uncalled for. Oh, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Why are you settling for a big girl? Stop it. Damn, that's that's quite horrible. Because a lot of people are judged by the partners they're with. Yeah, some men will make sure they always have a good-looking woman on their arm. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. If they can, yeah. Come on, a good-looking woman. However, however, because a woman's thin, does it mean she's a better woman? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I mean, she's probably more appealing. You want to sleep with her more often? Yeah. yeah. She's very arousing. Yeah, it's easy, yeah. I want to put my knob in her. Well said. Compared to a woman you might be less physically attracted to, it's like, yeah, you're a lovely woman. You treat me well, but you're not really doing it for me physically. You're not really... God damn. Uh, you're not really doing it for me physically. Not saying any of that is good. Just making some points, not saying any of it is good. But there is a reason why a lot of men keep big girls a secret. Is it secret? Is it safe? They may see him at night, but when no one's around, no one can see him leaving or entering the house. But there is a reason why a lot of men keep their big girls a secret. Again, it's not good, but you can't help but what you want. Having a good looking woman makes you feel better as a man. That's sort of, that's part of what it is. Um, 
it kind of does something to the psyche and, and your self-worth and your self-esteem, no matter how much self-confidence you have, you know? And my self-confidence and my journey with that uh, has been a journey, you know? And I'm the most confident I've ever been in my life. So Good. I don't really put up or accept men who treat me like dog shit anymore. But then that just leaves me having no interactions with men at all. I don't think... So you can only get men that treat you like crap because of your size. Well, there are a lot of thin women out here getting treated like crap as well. She's just like a good fa fa uh. Nothing is a guarantee. If you think being thin will make you get better men, <laughs> look, you'll get access to more men. You'll get a lot, you get a lot more men wanting you. Perfect. Better? Uh, it's not a guarantee. People really understand it unless they've been in this exact position themselves. And also the fact that my connection has to come from friends and family. Whereas those friends and family already have partners and then they get their connection from them. And then I get the leftovers. Damn, it's a woman getting leftovers. Well, I mean, I'm not being rude, but a lot of big girls are good at consuming leftovers, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's no need for that, let's carry on. And that feels really fucking good also. Mm. Literally no amount of self-love will replace what a romantic relationship can do for people. Interesting. That's an inconvenient, sad truth that I feel like no one on this app really wants to accept. Some of them do, because a few women have mentioned that, look, we can say all this, how we're going to have our girls for life. I just want to grow old with my girls, my girlfriends. Working it up. Have our cats and just, you know, live this commune life. <laughs> Some women on there admitting that, look, we can only get some of the affection we want as women from our friends. There's an extra curve, an extra degree in affection that women get from a man. That's sexy, yeah. A lot of men know this. You told me, me, you hear me? A lot of men play too, like, yeah, women. Like, yeah, woman. Yeah, we know. Yeah, that's cute. You and your friends, yeah, that's cute. But you want some of this man love, don't you? Oh, gotcha. You want some of this man validation, don't you? Yeah. As a strong-willed modern woman. Yeah. Oh, you know you want it. So for some men, they understand a lot of women are capping. They're talking absolute crap because they know a woman needs some masculine energy every now and again. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Of course she does. So I agree with her with the point that all these women lying to other women that you can just have your friends and that'll be enough. Yeah, that is BS. That is BS. Because regardless of what these modern women are saying, if as a man you understand it, yeah, you know, please. Okay. Women will say a lot of stuff, but they need some of this masculine affection. <laughs> Validation. You get some of this in you. Yeah, you need it. They just want to shove self-love down your fucking throat and individualism down your throat until you are so sick and tired of it that you come on this app, like I'm doing right now, and ranting about it. I just would love for a man to see me as the person that I really am, rather yeah. than what I can provide for him. Damn. Because I realize that's why a lot of women are in romantic relationships and partnerships with men, is that they have this currency that they can provide for men. Yeah, beauty is a currency. Nothing lasts forever. You can't hate men for that, because simply put, woman, if you were to transform your life, you would see the difference in men as well. You would be accepted more by the same men that you hate for accepting thinner women, you would fall into that category as well. You know, a lot of people are shallow. Yes, a lot of men are shallow. Men can't help what they want. They should control it, but they can't help what they want. Being thin will not guarantee you a good man. Probably guarantee you get ran through, eh? Hey, have some fun. But, but it doesn't guarantee you anything. Not being confident as a woman makes you very easy for a lot of men. But back to the point. But yeah, being a big girl does affect your currency to a lot of men. Social status. And because I'm not skinny, I can't give that to them. So they don't take the time to see me as a real person and to get to know me as a real person. If I were to lose 150 pounds, then they would actually get to see me as a real person and they would get to know me as the person. But guess what? I'd be so, still the same fucking person. I'm matter. still me. I wouldn't fucking change. Only my matter. body would. It doesn't but matter. then automatically that gives them value.
that gives them social currency. It's an arrogant, egotistical thing. However, as men, we understand it because it makes us feel better, more masculine in a lot of cases by having this lovely, beautiful, good-looking, attractive, whatever woman on your arm. The basic point is, and you're mentioning it yourself, a good-looking woman can raise your currency as a man. It's like, yeah, look at my woman. I'm amazing, aren't I? I bagged her. <laughs> I bagged her. Yeah? Beautiful. That's me. So yeah, it does. Sadly, sometimes it's not even about the woman. It's more about competing with other men. Look at my woman. It's not always about the woman. Even though I didn't change. Doesn't matter. In here, I didn't change. Just my body did. Yeah. That's what matters. Validation. And so many women do that. And yeah. they go through that just so that they are valued. Yeah. And how fucking sad is that? It's reality. I understand that you can hate the spectrum because you're on the because you're on the other end of it. But there are a lot of women out here who are killing themselves to be thin, gym bodied or and or in shape. All of it basically. Because they understand the power it gives them. Yeah. They have access to more men, a wider variety of men, better looking men, richer men, men with clout status. I get your point, but you're missing the fact a lot of women like clout status, money, sugar, being the it girl, the baddie. It's rarely if ever you see a baddie who's a big girl. She can call herself one. Do men think she's one? She's one to her girls. Is she to men? Is she to men? From broke dudes to rich dudes, is she valuable to them? How fucking sad is that? It's life. But that's just how the world is. That's just, you know, you gotta play the game. Okay. Looks are not everything, but yes, they are to a degree for a lot of people. Good looks are a currency, especially in a world where social media and online dating are so prevalent. That's not gonna change, yeah? Have a nice day. Yeah, Jake's and I just look this good.